Hey guys, Dave Hall here with Restore a Muscle Car. We actually have a, a change to our show that we're doing on YouTube. It's called Shiftin.TV. We're actually going to keep doing our same things that we were doing with muscle cars in the morning, trying to catch up on a bunch of stuff going on here in the shop. A lot of things been happening here lately, so we're gonna uh, fill you in on a few projects that we got going for customers, along with a, a couple cars we got coming up for sale as well. This particular car here, it's uh, car number 1098. We're doing this for Bob out of Minnesota. This is a 69 Trans Am that's been all completely done, frame off, restored. We actually work with, uh, um, basically I'm building a 700 horse motor with Wishman uh, Performance here in town. They actually do uh, some of our high-end engine builds along with a couple other machine shops and stuff. We did source a bunch of parts and stuff from uh, Butler Performance out of Tennessee, um, but this is going to be a really fun car when it's all all done and set up. Um, basically, we're getting down to where we're doing the final assembly on the front nose. Um, the, uh, the interior's really close to coming together. I think we're waiting on the dash pad to show back up from getting recovered and the seat covers to show up from PUI. Um, it does have some custom 17-inch uh, wheels on it that we actually sell on our website and uh, some Nitto Performance tires. But we'll uh, see a lot more of this car here as we get it. Uh, it's already been you know, running and stuff, but we'll get it tuned, dyno aligned, and all that fun stuff after the exhaust is done and the interior is wrapped up here very soon. Right next to it, we have a 71 Trans Am. This is a one family owned California car. Came out of Oakland, California. It's been in my personal collection for years. Uh, bought this car back when we first started the shop. Got it from the original owner's son. Um, we just are finishing a frame off restoration on this car. It's uh, been kind of a work in progress uh, over the years and stuff. And we're getting really close to wrapping things up on it here. Black standard interior. It's a 50 some thousand original mile car, four speed and air conditioning, which is really rare for the 455 HL motors on the 71s. But full numbers matching car from front to back. Uh, great, great car. We did upgrade the AC compressor on it and, and convert it over to 134 so that way people can use it. Um, but we do have an original compressor if somebody wanted it. But this one will be for sale on the website here really soon with all updated pictures and stuff. This is an, a one owner 81 Trans Am. I touched base on this one here a while ago. This one came in, I want to say it was last fall. We, we basically did a frame on restoration, but we did take the frame out. Um, we did uh, just kind of freshen up the bottom side of the car, but the whole whole drivetrain is completely done on this car. We upgraded his original 301 motor to a Pontiac 400 motor that's all rebuilt. Upgraded his AC compressor. It's got all, all of our high-end uh, body and paintwork on it. We actually located the original um, GM material for the seats in this car, which is a one year only material. It's got kind of a striped pattern in the 81 uh, Bandit car. So this is a true special edition car. And we're basically, the seat, seats are done. We got to finish getting door panels and some interior miscellaneous pieces as we kind of finalize all the little stuff. But this car is really close to wrapping up the decals, hood bird, um, and then we'll go down for exhaust and alignment and tune. In front of it here is the Elbert. This 69 Firebird we did for Corey out of Wahoo years ago. Uh, this is a feature car at SEMA. Uh, Wahoo, Nebraska is actually just north of here, about 45 minutes. And this was a custom build that we did for a client. It's got a, a built 455 Pontiac motor in it. It had a, a five-speed Tremec in it, but Corey wanted to go to an overdrive automatic, so we actually put uh, a 200R overdrive tranny in it. We were able to uh, save the setup on the console, put in a custom shifter. It was actually signed by Chip Foos at an event we did, raising money with uh, Year One and Chip Foos years ago down in Atlanta. Uh, but it's all complete custom interior, custom dash, seats, you name it. This car is kind of over the top. A uh, really fun car to drive. It's mini tub. It's got full Detroit speed suspension from front to rear. It's got their hydroformed front subframe with their four link in the back. Mini tub, narrowed rear axle. Um, a lot of great stuff. The custom, it's actually an O2 uh, orange color that was used on the, the 2002 
Firebirds, and uh, um, we actually did our kind of our own custom uh, decal scheme on the car that uh, was a pretty big hit at SEMA back when we uh, built the car. Still an outstanding car that we uh, uh, enjoy to get in here to do some light maintenance on from time to time. Right next to it on the lift here, this is a 79 Z28 Camaro, one owner car that was out of Auburn, Nebraska. The lady that actually owns it, we've been restoring it for her over the last several years. It went on hold for a while when she remarried and, and relocated to, to Georgia. But we're just now trying to get things wrapped up on it. So kind of the final assembly, you know, rebuilt the motor. This car had everything done. It had some rust in it from being a Nebraska car. Uh, but we completely went through it, and it's a very nice high-end car now. We're just kind of wrapping things up with the interior, some of the exterior components, and we'll put some decals on it here pretty soon and get this thing down for exhaust and alignment and a final tune. This is car number 1024. This is a 74 Trans Am that we're doing another full pro touring build on this car. This is for a good client of ours out of Tennessee. Um, obviously the car's black. Um, we painted the decals and stuff on this car, so they're not stickers, they're actually painted on. On the sail panels and the hood bird's painted on, and the fender's got all the markings and the spoilers, all that stuff's been painted on the car. We're actually just getting ready to put, this is a Blueprint 427 LS motor, so it's a stroked LS3 to 427 cubic inch. Uh, we're gonna paint the whole motor to match the decal scheme on the car and a few other custom accents that'll be pretty unique that we'll touch on here as we get closer. But uh, we got some custom wheels that are already made for the car. And so they'll be going on it after we get more stuff assembled. It'll get a, an overdrive tranny in it as well. And um, obviously all custom interior and all the fun stuff that we get to do to these cars. But right now we're in the phase where we're getting put uh, vintage air on it right now and getting ready to stab the motor and tranny and stuff in it and start getting all the drive train and stuff hooked up, do all the wiring, basically the assembly phase. This is a customer's car from New York, 77 Trans Am Special Edition. This car is basically loaded with about every option that you could ask for. Sean's working on getting the weather stripping and stuff put in on the Hearst T-tops. It, it is a 400 four-speed numbers matching car. It's got the black deluxe final interior. We've been basically doing a frame off restoration on this for the client. He had had another shop start on it years ago. That shop didn't stay in business so we brought it and a parts car back from New York and have been working on getting this beauty put all back together for him. So we redid all the metal work on it, all the body and paint. It's, it's You can eat off the bottom of this car. It's all red oxide and finished correctly. It's going through the assembly phase now. We'll see more pictures and video of it when it's done. All right, this is our 65 Mustang Fastback that we're actually restoring for the original owner out of Beatrice, Nebraska. So they're about an hour south of here. We've touched on this car in the past. Um, basically, we're kind of wrapping up the sheet metal work on it. We added new tor torque boxes to the front. It had been in a front end collision at some point in time. So we got that straightened out, got it all cleaned up. Just kind of final length of the sheet metal. This car is extremely close to getting down to where we're rolling and we'll get it in the booth to get get it into primer so that we can start uh, blocking and sanding all the panels out, making sure everything's straight, fits good as we move forward uh, towards painting it. As of right now, the owner's planning on it going back to the original color and uh, we'll touch base on it more as we get a little closer and get, get some more work done on it. But the guy's been getting everything kind of streamlined with all the new sheet metal that we're putting on the car. We have uh, also in the body shop here, we're getting ready to do some paint work on a, this is a 71 blazer that we're doing, it's a K5 blazer that we're getting ready to, uh, it's been reprimed. We're getting ready to, to do some final paint. We're actually building this blazer for a buddy of mine out of St. Louis. Um, his name's Matt. Um, we're hoping to get some paint on this thing this week and then get it back over to the assembly site so we can finish putting everything back together, get it tuned up. He wants to try and pick it up here at the end of the month. We have a, an Impala that came in. This is a customer's car out of Texas. 
I don't know if we've touched on this one in the past or not, but this car is going to be a complete custom chassis built car. The drag slick is on the floor in the back. I'll have Dylan video here in a second, but we're doing a, a custom tubbing on the rear of this car. We're building a full custom frame and suspension system that when we get it in, we'll uh, get some shots of it and stuff, but we just put this up on the frame bench so we could get it all mocked up. The owner was in here last week from Texas traveling to come and uh, kind of review what, what our plans are with the car so we can get it going. He wants to be able to drive this car around town, take it to the strip and race it, and then drive it right back to work the next day. Just, he just wants to be able to enjoy this car as much as he can. So this blue Impala that we have up on the left is a 65 Impala. This is a local, local guy's car out of Omaha. It actually was a super nice car when it came in. Uh, this gentleman is, is very picky, like we are. So he, it, you know, the paint had some flaws in it, enough to where it warranted giving it a respray. So basically the guys have sanded it down, trying to get everything blocked out, fixing whatever little issues you need to. While it was in here, we noticed that the that the frame underneath, which is a full frame car, had some some extensive rust that had been patched in the past. So we brought it up to the owner. We found and sourced another original frame, and it's out getting uh, sandblasted and powder coated this week. So then we're going to do basically a full frame swap. Obviously, move the drivetrain and everything over to the new new frame, and uh, um, we'll probably do that right before we put this into final paint and uh, get it assembled. All the chrome work, the bright work's been sent out to get it uh, polished and straightened so it all looks really nice when we go to put it back on the car. But this will be a fun one to get it wrapped up as well. This is a fifth, 1953 Ford pickup cab. This is a, a father and son project for um, a gentleman and his son, obviously out of Iowa, that they, they brought over to us. We already did some work on the fenders, or no, the doors and now we're doing some work on the cab so we just got it back from getting blasted we're prepping it to get it all cleaned up and get it in the primer so it doesn't flash rust we'll do some patches and stuff on it and get it get it cleaned up get it into a final primer before then they'll come and pick it up take it back home and do some assembly uh, we did order a brand new uh, crate motor for them from a blueprint engines that's getting built right now hope to have it in here first of the month so they can uh, Get the cab back with that motor and start getting some uh, some assembly stuff done on the drivetrain. This new project that came, it's a 73 Pontiac Grand Am. You don't see very many of these at all. I pretty much believe this car to be an original 20-some, right around 30,000 original mile car. The owner of it's out of Ohio. We actually picked it up over the holiday weekend on Labor Day weekend. And uh, he's been kind of working on this car for the last few years. Kaufman Racing Engines actually built a custom motor for him. I want to say it's in that 600 horsepower range is what it's supposed to be. Um, it's got a it's got Detroit Speed suspension in it with an upgraded uh, rear four link, um, five speed overdrive Tremec transmission. Uh, it's black car with the, the kind of maroonish red interior four-speed car really rare with the options that this car came with but he's customizing it now to make it that much more of a fun driver so we're we're going to finish getting all the drivetrain and stuff hooked up on it from the, the motor and the tranny getting the exhaust work wrapped up um, basically a bunch of little stuff actually we're adding uh, air conditioning to the car for him as well along with a list of other things but uh, we'll touch base on this car some more as we get it down off the rack and continue to get some things done um, this is also a, a local customer's car, a Corvair that we've been working on off and on. The, 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 the kid that drives this car, he's in high school. This is his high school car, his first car. Um, I believe his grandmother bought this car for him. We've been just kind of doing the maintenance on it for the last year or so. Just recently brought it in so we could finish up some more maintenance and then we're actually putting new carpet seat covers and a few other things to it here today that we're trying to get wrapped up and, and be able to get it back to him so that he can get to school without mom having to wake up early and take him. So that's a wrap up for what we got going on in the shop right now. Obviously there's a bunch of other stuff going on we'll update you on later, but I do wanna make sure that if you haven't done so already, follow us on our uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, 
all the social media stuff. We're all over the place. We try and keep everybody posted on all the things we have going on in the shop, out of the shop, shows, and other events throughout the country. So keep in touch. Talk to you soon. Thanks.